Well, how do there, chums? Today, Captain of the Steve, and today, chums, I'm here to talk to you a little bit more about No Man's Sky. I guess I am, anyway. Let's jump on over into the Tinterwebs. chick pop pow chick pop pow There I am on Tinterwebs, and this is a poll that I did, people. On No Man's Sky Experimental, we've had some patch fixes and some notes. Yes, yeah, so if you didn't see that video I did the other day on all the patch fixes and notes, I'll put it up there. Go check it out. Do you think that's all in way of an update? Or do you think, when it comes to public, we might get a surprise? Yeah, so I've put down these, just the bug fixes and patches. 33% of people think that's all we're getting, people. <laughs> Dang it! Redux of the last three expeditions for Xmas. 28% of people hit that one up. Along with the patches, it goes without saying, really, doesn't it, that? Expedition 12, reduxes and patches. So people think that we're... That's only 13%, though. That's second from lowest. That, that one's probably one of my most plausible. Massive update, expedition redux and patches, 17%. I'm putting myself here where that 13% is, but I can't vote on my own freaking poll. Look, clickety-click, clickety-click, nothing happens. Damn it. Redux patches and a big update for 2024. So yeah, redux patches and then a big update in 2024. 8% have hit that one up. So the most likely with you guys resonating out there is just the bug fixes. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, it's completely split across the board though, isn't it? I mean, but that one does echo out. Yes. Where I am is, is, is probably in the minority. Dang it. Okay, anyway, there's quite a lot of comments on here as well. If you have chimed in against here, you know, people, you can pause this. You can take a read of these comments and feedback. But yeah, a lot of people there are just saying, well, it, it's nice to have, to have the patch fixes. We could do with the patch fixes, to be honest. In fact, that's what a lot of people said on my patch fixes video rather than there. Now, one of the actual patch fixes was that they're going to be upgrading Havoc. I've had people say, well, what the fudge is Havoc? What does that mean in simple terms? Well, luckily, Ash Parker, or Ash NMS, I should say, Ashka, Ashka even, Ashka, I don't know where Parker came from. Ashka NMS, there you go, Ashka NMS, brilliant, has put this out there, people, on the old Twitterverse. Havoc AI, optimised, adaptable and robust. Havoc AI offers navigation, mesh generation, pathfinding and steering, enabling characters to intelligently understand and react to a dynamic world. It's probably how all the creatures move around people, isn't it? It isn't the end of doing it. Okay, and uh, we come out there, and we got this one, Havoc Cloth. Yeah, so that's all the cloth physics that we see in game. You know those lovely capes that we can all use apart from the Switch players? Them! Yes, lovely jubbly. So that does that, and also other cloth physics. And then we've got this one, Havoc Physics as well. Battle tested and scalable, Havoc Physics is the gold standard for games developers when it comes to real-time collision detection and dynamic simulation. I still see sh ships landing in ships inside of the old uh, Nexus. Um, I don't know whether that's a thing. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know whether that's using Havoc physics all that well. But then again, it's probably down to coding that one, to be honest. Let, let's face it. Anyway, I'm going to hit a follow. I haven't followed this chap. So there you go. There you go. Ashka NMS. You've just got to follow. Heck yes. Lovely jubbly. Oh, they've got a YouTube as well. Okay. All right. Well, I'll pop on over there. Do they... Do they, do they Oh, they do billions! Oh, they're all in French! Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'll I, I, I hit subscribe anyway. I probably, well, I probably won't be able to watch your content because my French is a very cap, mate. So there you go. I'll hit you a subscribe, though. Since I'm here. Oh, 14,000 subscribers! Nice one, French content creator extraordinaire you. Right, anyway. Okay, so we've had that. We've had all of that. Now, a lot of people are saying... Captain Steve, maybe you shouldn't speculate so early in futures. Well, there was a bit of a rumour bouncing about inside of the verse that Hello Games reached out to content creators through a third party. And that rumour has got substance to it. So one of those lucky content creators got hit on up and they sent me over their message and said, Captain Steve, do you get one of these on October 23rd? October the 23rd? No, no, I didn't. I didn't get one. I was not invited to Mechavidians. But anyway, here's it says. Hi. And then to the content creator who I've blurred out. I am so-and-so from such and such third party. We have a new paid opportunity that we think would be right up your alley. It's with Hello Games. For No Man's Scare. 
and we'd love for you to create a video on the game for your audience, please find an overview of details below. In terms of the live date, we're aiming to have the video live before the end of the month. And considering this was October 23rd, not really giving them ample time to make a decent video, are they? This is still to be confirmed, and we're confirming final details with the client. Game, No Man's Sky, Deliverables, one dedicated YouTube video, date, TBC, fee, TBC. Let us know if you're interested, as any questions you may have. Now... I recognised the person there, and I recognised the company there, because it was the same company and the same peoples that messaged me previous year to make an ad video. So I reached out to them. I messaged this team and my contacts there, because I've got quite a few friends there now. So I messaged them and said, hey, what's going on? Where's my freaking invite to this party? And they came back and said, Captain Steve, actually, we're not running this at the moment. We'll let you know if it kicks back off. And um, I haven't heard anything else. But you can see that October 23rd is when this rumour started bouncing around. I honestly thought, because they're asking for a deliverable by the end of the month, we would be seeing something uh, either towards the tail end of October for Halloween or within the first couple of weeks of November. Now, this wasn't the first content creator that hit me up around this date. And there was a couple that hit me up to ask if I'd had an email from them. And then it just went deathly silent. Nobody was getting replies. So, you know, I, but I reached out to my contacts. I got a reply to say, yeah, it's, it's not actually happening anymore, Captain. Which, a little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame, people. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, because they were doing this sponsor through this third party, well, the game's doing the sponsor through the third party, I honestly do think that there might be something big looming towards the end of this year because you wouldn't get a load of freaking sponsorship going because that's going to be out of hello games's pocket to get these content creators to create these normally it's about 50 quids is what you get given for making the video i mean just having hello games sponsor you is the real clout and every other year that i've done my video just just as a heads up that 50 quids i've actually said give it to charity and I've, I've said, you know, go to Hello Games, they can give it to their charity of their choice, which is that gaming for disabled children and stuff, which I probably think is a great charity anyway. So, yeah, anyways, um, I'm still waiting. I'm waiting to see if they come back to me with a new campaign. But for Hello Games to do that campaign, I think they would have wanted their sales to have started. And they may have wanted to do Twitch drops. And with everything being thrown out of the window, maybe there's some sort of delay because of perhaps the Steam sales. I don't know, just speculating, but I did a whole video on why I think the Steam sales have been delayed. I put a video up in the top corner over there. Go check that one out. But yeah, I think it's just thrown everything out the window. But I don't think that means it's thrown the update out the window. I still think it's on the cards. I just think Hello Games have got to shuffle things around. At least that's what I'm hoping. And... Now you know why there's been lots of different reams of speculation, why the hype train has gone into full burn and then hit and crashed and burned. It's because we've had rather mixed messages out there. And it's, it's very vague, the stuff that we've got to go on. And you know the drill. We're still now waiting for the emoji, a real emoji from Shaun of the Murrays. Perhaps the sales to start and the depots to start updating again. I mean, the depots that have updated now, we know that that's just a ream of patch fixes. Could it be that this sort of like delay Hello Games aside means that we're not going to get something tail end of this year and everything's going to start happening again in the new year? It's possible. That is possible. That's a possible route. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed, though, that around the 17th and the week starting, what, the 20th or whatever the week is after the 17th, that something starts happening again, people. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm really hoping for. Anyway, people, I'm going to end off now. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.